Well, maybe you don't want to tell those kids to put away those video games after all. It turns out the kids could be honing skills to become a doctor. That's right, robotic surgery is being used to treat a wide range of medical conditions, including prostate cancer and heart problems. The challenge, as any kid can tell you, is learning to master the technique. But as NJN News Health and Medical Correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, well, Robert Wood Johnson Medical School thinks it has the answer to that. I use your left hand and go into that ball and squeeze it. It's called the Robotic Surgery Simulator, or ROS. For teens who've grown up playing video games, using the ROS is a natural. For many surgeons who are a generation older, not so much. That's why Robert Wood Johnson Medical School has invested in this equipment. Well, this is a great machine that was invented to teach uh, surgeons how to perform robotic surgery in a simulated environment. So the surgeons can sit and practice robotic surgery outside the operating room. The Ross aims to replicate the feel and touch of robotic surgery, like this heart procedure in which the surgeon, using the Da Vinci robotic system, peers at a screen and controls the surgical tools being used on this patient from 50 feet away. It's got uh, two arms, just like the uh, Da Vinci robot has. Uh, it's got a stereo display where you can see the simulation happen and there are a bunch of pedals which you press to uh, put the uh, simulation uh, to make it do different things. The Ross, unlike other simulators, uses 3D technology. Robert Wood Johnson, which unveiled the simulator earlier this month, says it's the first medical school in the nation to get it. Very excited about uh, the Ross machine as an educational tool. Um, as medical students, we really don't get an opportunity to work on the Da Vinci. So. Um, having this here will really inspire, I think, a lot of students to go into the uh, surgical services that use it. The Ross Surgical Simulator costs $100,000. Fortunately for this medical school, the cost was covered by two charitable foundations. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, New Brunswick.